Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to show you one real life application of the concept of image processing algorithm, whatever I have discussed in my previous video. Okay, so let's start. So I have taken one image. Okay, I using I am read. Let me show you the image first. Okay, I think some of you already familiar with this particular image this is nothing but eight of diamond okay if you have played card games then you have seen this right now when you are saying eight of diamond that means these diamonds you are counting this one two three four five six seven eight not this corner diamond and this one also we are not counting okay so this is called eight of diamond now suppose I am asking you apply some image processing algorithm and give me this 8 value. Okay. Or not only the, for this particular case, I can give you 7 of diamond and I am ask, I can ask you what is the card name that is 7. Okay. That you need to return. Okay. That is how many diamonds are present on this card. Okay. Excluding this O diamond and this diamond. If suppose that is the problem statement, how you can solve this using the concept of image processing. Okay. Try to think about this algorithm. Try with MATLAB whether you are getting correct result or not. If you are not getting correct result, no need to worry. Here I am explaining. But please have a try before moving on to the solution. Okay. So what we can do? First thing first, if we need to differentiate in between this bigger size diamond and this smaller size diamond. Okay. So how we can differentiate? Simply applying erosion right because while discussing the morphological erosion and dilation i have shown you several examples where we have taken only some particular size or particular shape object and removed or erased other objects using erosion and dilation technique right same concept we are going to apply we will be taking our diamond shape structuring element okay which is quite big size and which will fit only these particular bigger diamonds but will not fit in this particular smaller these two corner diamonds and as a result due to application of erosion this particular corner diamonds will be removed only the major bigger diamonds will be left and then we will apply dilation technique to convert those shrinked diamonds to its original size and then simply we can what we can do we can apply labeling and we can count the number, number of diamonds that's all right so let's do first so before applying morphological operation what we need obviously we need to convert the image to binary image so from the colored image i have converted my image to grayscale image okay see this is my grayscale image and the code is very simple rgb to gray okay then the in the next step what i am doing i am converting my image to binary image okay so let me show you the binary image first So if I run this particular part, I will be getting my three output image. This is our original image, this is our grayscale image and this is our binary image. You can see there is one fundamental problem in this particular binary image. Generally, we treat white as object, black as background. But here in our this particular case, black became object, white became background. So we need to take complement of our this particular binary image so that we can apply morphological operation on this. So simply I will just apply one symbol that is the uh, complement symbol okay and now let us check whether we are getting our desired image or not desired binary image yes see this is our original rgb image this is our grayscale image and this is our binary image where white is object and black is background now what we will do we need to remove this eight uh, number and this particular diamond and this particular diamond so that we can count only bigger size diamond. So we will be taking our structuring element and obviously we will be taking diamond structuring element. Size will be chosen such that it will fit in this particular bigger size object but not in the smaller diamonds. Okay. So what we can do? I have taken sufficiently large size diamond structuring element using this STREL diamond 15. Okay and then i am using i am open x comma ac why i am open because first of all we need to apply erosion to remove the eight uh, number and those two corner smaller diamond and then we will apply dilation so that the original bigger diamonds present at the center of our image will go back to their original size so erosion followed by dilation is nothing but opening right so i am open i am using figure i am show title is image after applying opening 
So for the time being, let me just show you the structuring element. Okay. So I am just select, evaluating this particular structuring element. And if I just write AC and click enter, I will be getting two properties neighborhood and dimensionality just write ac dot neighborhood and you will be getting the particular diamond structuring element okay it might not fit properly in the command window because the size is bigger so what we can do we can simply use im show okay to show the particular neighborhood of our structuring element if you hit enter see this is our diamond set structuring element which we are choosing right now let us keep on let us go to our original code and discuss what we have done next. So figure I am show X title image after applying opening. Okay, we are applying opening and we are showing that. And then simply we are applying BW label and the B value will give us total number of diamond present in our original image that is apart from the corner diamonds and that is nothing but the name of our card. Okay, so let me just run up to this particular part and perform evaluate selection will be getting multiple output so see this is our original rgb image this is our grayscale image this is our binary image and if we apply image opening see the eight and the corner diamonds are removed and only major diamonds are left now if you apply bw level what will happen one two three four five six seven eight all the eight diamonds will be selected because nothing is left apart from that so See, here in our code what we have done, A, B equal to BW level X, right? So simply we will write B and hit enter, we will be getting 8, okay? And A is our labeled image. Now we will visualize labeled image also. This is the new concept which I have not discussed earlier. There is inbuilt function label to RGB, okay? To visualize the label for the labeled image okay it will give different different color for different levels okay you, you can check the method documentation here label to rgb convert label matrix into rgb image here label to rgb l converts label matrix l into rgb color image for the purpose of visualizing the labeled regions okay so let us run this particular part label to rgb a where a is our labeled image and title is labeled image okay so if i run see how beautifully we are getting the labeling okay so for all the different connected components or binary object, we are getting different colors. Okay. So this is what about eight of diamond. Now let us take some other card of diamond set. Suppose I am taking seven dot JPG. Okay. Let me just show you. I have taken here seven of diamond. So what we should get in this particular case output as seven because there, there are seven diamonds present, right? Major seven diamond present apart from the corner one. So if I run the whole code, I will be getting multiple outputs as earlier. Okay. So if you just check, so this is our original image. This is our grayscale image. This is our binary image after thresholding and complement. This is image after applying opening. So the seven and the corner diamonds are removed and only major diamonds at the center are left. Now we are applying labeling. So we can visualize the labels. Now to get the count value again, we will simply write B variable because B variable is storing the count value and we'll be getting seven. Okay. So this is nothing but seven of diamond we have taken so that we are getting seven, right? So this is the concept of label to RGB in MATLAB to visualize the labeled image. And this is the concept of BW label, which you can apply in practical real time scenarios also okay so this is all for my this video same code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there just take randomly some uh, diamond cut from internet and play with this particular code by changing the diamond shape structuring element what will happen just visualize those okay understand those so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching